All right, so now we're gonna be making our Korean pork tacos. Ingredients is 10 ounces ground pork, four flour tortillas, six ounces red cabbage, three radishes, two cloves garlic, two scallions, and then two teaspoons of sugar, one one inch piece ginger, one tablespoon, what's this word babe? Gargrange? Got you on. Got you on? Yeah, I got you on. One tablespoon sesame oil, one fourth cup rice vinegar, one fourth cup sour cream. <clears throat> it's got 840 calories per serving. Takes about 15 minutes to prep <clears throat> and 15 to 25 minutes to cook. So we got all of our ingredients right here that I listed. Now we gotta make it, babe. <laughs> <laughs> So we just cut up the cabbage and he's just gonna get ready to cut everything else up and put them in these bowls. All right, so we got everything cut up and looking fancy. So our next step is to grab the cabbage. And it says add the sesame oil, which is right here. Ew, it smells weird. Can you hold on to this? Yeah. Okay. And then the sugar. Just a little sugar pack. Did it say all the sugar? Yep. It's another place to put it. Add up to half the garlic paste. Is that this, this one? That one. Half the garlic paste. Like that much? Yeah. Alright. And half the white bottoms of the scallions. You just said about half? Yeah. Okay. And then three fourths of the vinegar. Oh. Like that. Yeah, that's good. And up to one fourth of the gargantuan. Mm. The spicy stuff. Yeah. Okay, depending on how spicy you'd like it, the dish to be. Season with salt and pepper. And toss, toss to thoroughly combine. Set aside to marinate, stirring occasionally for at least 10 minutes. Season with salt and pepper to taste. That means you gotta get your hands in there. Just knead it and toss it. So the third step is to put two tablespoons of olive oil on medium high until hot, which we did. It's already hot. And then we gotta add our ground pork. He's just cutting it up. Ooh, bubble. Mm -hmm. These things are huge strong bags. Season with salt and pepper. Frequently breaking the meat apart, 
cook frequently, breaking the meat apart with a spoon three to four minutes or until it's lightly brown. So that's our step now. Okay. All right, so now we got to add the ginger. <laughs> Remaining garlic paste. Remaining white bottoms of the scallion. As much as the gargantuan as you like. I don't know what, what that word is. I don't know if I'm saying it right or what. But I that's the word. I think it's got you on. Got you on. <laughs> don't add too much. I don't like too hot. I know you do. And you're gonna make me die because you just put another screw down. Yeah, I'm gonna move it off. Yeah, my god. <laughs> Is it hot? It's not even hot. You like hot stuff though. Yeah, but it's really not even hot. But... It's real. Depending on how spicy you'd like it, to the dish. Cook stirring occasionally for two to three minutes or until softened. It still smells good. Add, then we gotta add three fourths cup of water and cook, stirring occasionally four to six minutes, or until the pork is cooked thoroughly, or until the pork is cooked th through and the liquid has cooked off. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Transfer to a bowl and set aside in a warm place. Rinse and wipe out the pan. Our next step is heat the same dry pan on the medium high until hot. Working in batches, add the tortillas and heat three, heat 30 seconds to one minute per side or until warm and pliable, divide between two dishes. And so we got the tortilla shells on there. Then it says in a bowl, combine the sour cream and remaining vinegar, divide the finished pork between the warm tortillas, top with the radishes and a few spoonfuls of the sour cream vinegar mixture, garnish with the green tops of the scallions, divide the saw, slaw, between two bowls and serve on the side. Enjoy. Which I was looking at the picture and I was like, where does the cabbage come in play? But we put the cabbage on the side and I got it all ready for us. Our next step is heat the same dry pan on the medium high until hot. Working in batches, add the tortillas and heat three, heat 30 seconds to one minute per side or until the pork is cooked through through and the liquid has cooked off. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Transfer to a bowl and set aside in a warm place. Rinse and wipe out the pan. So we're gonna do that step. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> So that's the picture, and this is the final product. Final. And then we got our cabbage. So we both have actually never had Korean tacos before, so this should be interesting. Good job, Baho. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord, thank you for this food. Bless us, we're about to eat. So that way we may be eating meat. something? Nourished. In Jesus' name we pray. Restart it. What? Restart it. Why are you eating something? I wasn't. I mean, I was eating it, but I stopped. Okay. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, thank you for this food. Bless us, but we're about to eat it. Nourish our bodies, Lord, so that way we may gain everything out of it. Um, please look out for those that don't have the food and the ability to be able to afford food 
see that they might be able to eat today. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. We forgot the sauce, one minute. They also had the sauce that we, um, I'm not sure about, with the sour cream and vinegar. I don't know about that, but I'm sure. let's try the tacos. We should put a little bit on them, a little bit. Oh, I don't want to. I don't, I don't like it. I just, it's because the sour cream, I think it's good. I think the sour cream is bad. We might have waited too long. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, gonna, I don't, I'm not going to eat it like that. Well, I'm you got to try it without the hot sauce. No, i got to try it with my hot sauce. I'm gonna eat it. What? Really? Can I eat my food the way I want to eat my food? I'm just gonna put in All right, let's try it and then end the video. Really? Are you gonna try it? It's a recording. Can we just finish this part? Why are you getting all pissy with me? I like it. Yep, tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta try the cabbage. I've never had uncooked cabbage. Or, well, he said it was like coleslaw. It kind of does taste like coleslaw, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. So then it, this was um again if you had, didn't see my other videos this was from the Blue Apron, right? As they say, it. I think I'm saying right. I don't know, but that's how you spell it. You should go to their website and check out their things. They have really, <laughs> they have really good meals. He wasn't in it. He's too tall. And yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. so check that out and don't forget to subscribe like this video comment and we will see you on our next video bye